Our first guest today is Nick Sandella, Manager of Radiology at Novant Health. Welcome to the show, Nick. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. I appreciate you having me here today. You're welcome. Now, I know that you've recently joined um, Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center, so most of our viewers probably have not had the opportunity to meet you. Uh, what is your role at Brunswick Novant? Uh, I am the Manager of Radiology Services at the hospital, and I joined back in December of last year um, after relocating here from Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Quite a, a shock, yes. right? <laughs> Quite a culture shock. Well, let's talk about your education and your background. How did you get to be where you are today, Nick? Okay. Um, I have a degree in nuclear medicine, mm -hmm. and I graduated in 1996, and I've been an imaging professional since. I'm board certified in nuclear medicine, as well as computer tomography. Um, I've worked in many facets of the industry, which range from a clinical um, technologist to a research technologist, um, academia where I taught, um, as well as in research and development for pharmaceutical companies. Wow, quite a bit of experience and, you know, across the board, you've done just about all aspects of, of that. Yes. That's, that's awesome. Well, we're here today to talk about the imaging services that Novant Health provides locally. Um, can you give us some, uh, a brief overview of the different um, types of imaging services that are available here? Yes. Um, our facility is a full-service radiology department. We offer uh, general x-ray and uh, fluoroscop fluoroscopy, special procedures, mm -hmm. as well as uh, computer tomography, CT scan, uh, mammography, uh, MRI, ultrasound, nuclear medicine, and vascular imaging. Wow. It's pretty much got it all covered. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Well, let's talk about some of the various reasons that patients might need um, imaging services. Sure. Well, we provide both uh, preventative care screening procedures as well as diagnostic procedures. Mm -hmm. An example of a screening procedure would be the, uh, a woman's annual mammogram. Mm -hmm. um, some of the diagnostic procedures that we may encounter are something as simple as uh, evaluating a bone for, for a fracture or a break, right. um, or something as complex as an MRI scan looking for um, different various reasons for back pain, mm -hmm. um, staging different types of tumors and cancers, um, utilizing ultrasound um, to uh, document pregnancies, um, mm -hmm. and a, a wide spectrum of diseases and disorders that we can evaluate using imaging. Every patient who walks through a hospital at one point in time will be touched by some form of imaging. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know I've had many myself, so yeah, I could attest to that. Well, how many days in advance would a patient need um, to make an appointment to have any of those imaging services at Novant Health? Okay. Depending on the, the preparation for the procedure right. or um, if there's any authorizations that are required by their insurance company, um, we, can, we can pretty much provide same-day service for most procedures. Wow. That, that's great. Yes. I mean, I, I assume that with ones that need additional prep, it might take a few days. Correct. But we're Correct. typically able to get them in very quickly. Correct. Good, good. So can a patient um, come to the hospital for their imaging study, even if they've been to another facility uh, in the uh, prior to that, if they've had it done somewhere else, can they come to yes, Brunswick, Nevada? Yes, of course. They can, we can accommodate a patient who comes from another facility, mm -hmm. especially since this part of, our, of, uh, of the area, we have a lot of patients who come from other parts of the country for vacation reasons, mm -hmm. and um, we make every effort to contact those other facilities if they've had prior imaging studies so that we have them and we can import them into our system for comparative uh, reasons. Oh, that's great. That's great. Now, oftentimes when folks work, it's difficult to schedule an appointment, and I'm wondering um, how easy or how difficult it is to get an appointment. Do you have uh, various hours or weekends? Let's talk about that a little bit. We try to make it as easy as possible for mm -hmm. the patients because everyone's life is busy and the last thing we need to do is take time off from work for, for an appointment. So we offer early morning appointments, late evening appointments. When you say early morning? We generally start between 6.30 and 7 a.m. depending mm -hmm. on what type of test it's for. Right. Um, we also are pretty much, for most of our modalities, we schedule out as far as 7 p.m. And um, we have weekend wow. hours. Um, Saturday is a regular working day for us, so we're open at 7 a.m. and usually close around 7 p.m. 
Wow, that is uh, an extended uh, time period, especially on Saturday. Yes. That, we find most patients appreciate that flexibility. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very convenient uh, for folks here in Brunswick County. And for our, our diagnostic work, for our x-ray work, um, we offer walk-in um, appointments, and you can walk in any time and have an x-ray done. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. Um, I've heard that we have, or you have, this new um, open bore MRI machine. Um, let's talk about that a little bit and, and go into a little bit of detail about that. Well, we have a, um, the GE450, which mm -hmm. is an open bore um, magnet. Um, and if, anagonically, we use the word open bore as the donut hole. Um, <laughs> that's that big hole <laughs> you go into, hole. right? <laughs> and that hole is about 70 centimeters wide. And okay. it's the uh, largest bore or donut hole in, the, uh, in this area. And what that allows is patients who are, who are cla claustrophobic to have a little sense of, of control and ease over their procedures because of the fact that it's so wide mm -hmm. um, without compromising the image quality. Mm -hmm. um, some other additional little you know, perks that the, the scanner and the layout of the room have is we have um, ambient lights in the bore, so it's not dark, it's very bright. Mm -hmm. We also have a large window in the room that you can see from the bore, so it gives another sense of openness. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about um, pre-medication for MRIs. Because of the size, has that done away with um, some of the pre-medication? Um, well, it depends. You know, for patients who have that slight anxiety about it, the size of the bore definitely helps. Mm -hmm. um, our technologists are well trained in how to coach a person through the procedures, um, and the technology that we have has decreased the amount of time that the scans take. So, you generally, with those three combined, we can get those patients through them without any type of, of drugs that would, you know, help relax them. Mm -hmm. um, but at times, we have patients who have very, very high anxiety, and um, we'll have drugs prescribed to them to help them get through it. They're usually very short acting, and all we ask is that someone accompanies them with them just to make sure they have a ride home after taking them. Sure, sure. That's great. Now, other than the um, imaging services provided at uh, Novon Health Brunswick Medical Center, are there any other facilities in the area which provide imaging services for it? Uh, within our, our network, mm -hmm. uh, yes, we have an outpatient imaging facility in the um, south end of the county in Sunset Beach, which um, has uh, x-ray services, which are walk-in, mm -hmm. and we're open Monday through Friday, nine hours a day. Um, and a lot of, uh, many of our, our family practices as, uh, like Oceanside Family Medicine in the South End, um, has their own imaging uh, capabilities with x-ray, bone density, and ultrasound. Mm -hmm. So there are other um, avenues for imaging services other than the hospital. Correct. So Correct. those folks living in the southern end of the county, like the Calabash area and such, that would be much more convenient for them yes. if that service is available there Correct. Um, at the Sea Trail location. Correct. Mm. Well, that's good. That makes it really convenient for those folks living down that way. Yes, ma'am. Now, how would a patient go about scheduling imaging services at Novant Health? What would be that um, process? Well, we have uh, a couple of variations. Um, if the patient is seen in the physician's office, um, the appointment can be made at that time with their physician by the office calling and sure. scheduling the appointment. Um, the patient can call from their home um, to have the appointment scheduled by themselves. Mm -hmm. And we will also, if we get a request from the physician for us to call the patient to set it up, um, we will do that as well. Great, great. Uh, one other thing about mammography, I meant to ask this earlier. Does a woman need an appointment to have a mammogram? Uh, no. For if, or an order. For screening mammography, as long as the female is uh, 40 and plus, mm -hmm. um, and it does not require them to have a physician's order, and they can come right in um, and uh, make an appointment, or if there's availability that day, be seen that day. Okay, great. And we just ask them to provide us with a physician's name and phone number or fax number sure. so we can um, send the report on to them. But they'll also receive a letter in the mail within 30 days uh, that the, uh, the results are available. Well, that's good. I think that's important for folks to know that um, it's easy to get a mammogram and you don't need a physician's orders. Correct. Thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure having you here today. Um, I look forward to having you back and we'll talk about something else to do with radiology. Great. Thanks Thank again. You. Appreciate you having me. You're welcome. Thank you.